The BIA headquarters, designed by Zaha Hadid Architects, offers a new type of office environment amidst a desert landscape, a unique setting in which it's one with its natural environment. It does not shy away from it, but merges well with the surrounding dunes and also takes inspiration from their formal qualities. Design decisions were specific to the location and the needs of its inhabitants. Passive and active design techniques were also utilized to improve the building's efficiency. The design also maximizes natural daylight within the building while limiting any glazing exposed to natural sunlight. Architectural and engineering construction technologies work together to integrate form, space, and structure. We wanted the building to have high standards of sustainable design. It will be powered by solar energy. We also have utilized recycled materials and are recycling water on site to be used back into the building while maintaining the architectural intent of the design. We wanted the technology of the building to enhance the experience of its inhabitants and also allow it to operate as efficiently as possible. It also saves energy by making informed decisions. We designed the technology to integrate with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems of the building to be able to gather information to make better informed decisions in the future based on reoccurring patterns. Data by which buildings are designed on accurate to a certain degree because it will all rely on the operational period of the building. By how the inhabitants of the building use these systems and these practices also vary from one season to another. Technology does change and improve over time. A big portion of that technology is actually in our hands. The software on, on these devices, that in itself gives you the flexibility to adjust and improve without impacting the building's physical form. A developed app will allow people to interact with the building and request from it whatever that is they need. The BIA headquarters represents Sharjah's values from different perspectives. Sharjah is known for being the cultural capital of the UAE. Sharjah is rooted in culture and conserving its natural environment. There is a big focus on the importance of architecture and design and the influence it has over the community. It drives people to elevate their design thinking. I believe with the headquarters we wanted to drive this agenda and for it to act as a standard for projects to come. Architecture and the built environment is an important force in the overall growth of the UAE over the past five decades. There is also the knowledge that architecture shapes cities and also plays a vital role in a city's forward thinking. One of the buildings that inspire me in the UAE would have to be the heart of Sharjah. It is the old town of Sharjah where the old houses and structures are built out of coral. It is interesting to see how people lived sustainably in the past, using materials that were available to them in abundance and reimagining it into something new. Even the way these houses were designed and the neighborhoods were laid out all relate to the specific environmental and societal challenges and constraints. Today the area has been renovated and transformed and repurposed, but still maintains the soul of what made it special. Moving outside the UAE, a project that personally inspired me is the Salk Institute in California. It's designed by Louis Kahn, and it's a place that I'll always remember. I say a place because it's designed not necessarily as a singular building, but multiple ones, designed and positioned to make most of that spectacular site. The finishes of the building is so raw and authentic to the nature of its structure. It is so simple yet so powerful in its message and the lessons it has to offer for generations of architects to come. Architects have a responsibility to drive sustainable design. The impact of the construction industry on the environment is monumental, starting from the design decisions that architects and engineers make to the construction methodology all the way to the operation period of the building. The impact of construction is ongoing and every decision you make as a designer would have an everlasting impact on the environment. It is our responsibility as architects to make better choices starting from the smallest of decisions and changes in our practices all the way to bigger ones if it's feasibly justified of course. In our practice which is called architecture and other things our design process in itself is context and culturally driven. We have experimented with different methods which take inspiration from the UAE's culture in several of our projects. These techniques and learnings we pass on onto our new projects 
and attempt to integrate them to create a common thread which distinguishes our work from others. I would have to say that the BE headquarters is the project that has given me the most satisfaction. It has and still is a big part of my career. Even though I did not design it, but I was part of the design process and the development process of the project right from the beginning. The advice I would give to a young architect would be firstly to believe in yourself and what you have to offer as a designer and as a thinker. Do not be intimidated or fear to voice your opinion that a young fresh perspective sometimes is all what is needed. Seek to explore and see more of the world. Be open to working with others. Have an open mind to all ideas and try to eliminate judgment, judging yourself and others as well.